Welcome to the Laurent Collective Podcast, where we go deeper than just surface talk. Each week, we'll explore everything from family, business, creativity, culture, and faith. To make sure not to miss an episode, be sure to subscribe and hop on to Instagram at Laurent Collective to chat with us about this episode. Summer is here, which hopefully means slower days, some time off, and more family time. With this in mind, we're doing a summer series of shorter podcasts with some quick thoughts to encourage you. We hope these are fun for you to listen to while you enjoy your summer. In a previous podcast, I mentioned a story about um, just reflecting on taking the next step and not really understanding the full path that we were on. Um, and I thought I'd just share that story. I, I'm, I think I just shared a snippet of it, but I thought I'd share mm-hmm. it in complete, complete, completion. Uh, yeah. How would I say that? Uh, <laughs> the whole uh, story. Let's yeah, the whole story way. instead of just a sliver yes, of exactly. it. Yes, exactly. Um, would share the whole story and then kind of yeah, we have a little bit of thoughts on it. Um, so the story is um, our middle son. He was a toddler at the time. Gosh, it's so weird to think how little he was. I can picture all of this. You know how certain things just stick with you for your whole mm-hmm. life. You could say Jude because um, they've yeah, been introduced our son. Exactly, to Jude. Jude. Oh, yeah. I forgot you guys know Jude now. You've, you've heard from him. Yeah. So he was a toddler. Um, I think Zane was at school. Pat was someplace else. And we went to this park that I have no clue if it even exists anymore. But basically, it was a huge field and they had cut paths through the field and so it was really tall overgrown the grass was like as tall as me um wildflowers that kind of thing and then there was a path cut through it Mm -hmm. um that you would walk through and everything but it was pretty big and it kind of like twist and turned and that kind of thing so we parked and we started walking um and it got to a certain point that i we'd been there for a while and i was like oh we need to probably leave now i think it was around lunchtime or something and realized i had no clue where we were i couldn't see the car i couldn't figure out where the parking lot was i felt very lost um jude could care less he was playing and having fun and stuff and i kind of started to panic a little bit like i'm out in the middle of a field with a toddler and i no one else was there too. It was kind of creepy. Yeah. It was just us. Well, and I think too, like the season of life that we were in just overwhelmingly felt like that all the time. Yes. Yeah. You always just, we just didn't, yeah, it was very much, I think I might've been pregnant too. I think I was expecting beta at that time as well, possibly. Mm, Maybe not. I can't I remember. I think we've already no, had beta at that time. May, well, I would have had her with me, so that's not right. Um, well, I think I was pregnant. I um, anyway, so there was a lot of, there was a lot of things as we were about ready to have, you know, a third child and stuff that just were, a lot of stuff was on my mind. Um, so I'm watching Jude is kind of, you know, in front of me walking and this white butterfly, maybe it was it a probably, moth. I was going to say, it might I, not I, I've just had butterfly. that thought. I've always thought it was a butterfly, but it could have possibly been a moth, but it was just pure white, um, went just right in front of Jude. Um, and it landed and he, of course, he was overly excited to see this and he would run towards, he would start picking up pace, running towards the butterfly that obviously wanted to catch it probably. And as soon as you would get really close to the butterfly, it would pick up and fly and go to just like two feet in front of him again. And then it would land right in the center of the path. And then Jude would start going again. And as soon as he got really close to the butterfly, it did the same thing again and like picked up flew another two feet or so onto the path and then Jude kept going. And I mean, this happened. Oh, I, I can't even say, I mean, I sat there and I stopped and watched what was happening and then I was following them behind. It was like, whoa. Um, and it was a huge eye opener for me to realize that I personally, this is how I am wired. Mm. When we're stepping into something or making a decision, I want to see the whole path. I want to see the path and know exactly how I'm getting back to that car. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I want to see it all. Um, and it was a huge, you know, again, wherever you are and what you believe and stuff for me, I felt like it was God speaking to me and showing me like, can you just trust me with this part? I've already revealed this part to you and you're not going to see the next part until you get closer to mm, where yeah. I'm at. Um, and so like Jude getting once he got really, really close, to, I mean, sometimes he was almost able to touch the butterfly and then up the butterfly went and went a few more feet. And then he saw his next part of the path he was supposed to go on. Yeah. Um, and that is, you know, Pat was just um, saying, like, if we saw the whole path, like, you want to share yeah, that, I your mean, thought I think, on that? I think, you know, if, if 
I think a lot of times we get frustrated when we're trying to get somewhere or to, um, you know, accomplish something where we just want to be to that accomplishment already. And like, and I think if we, if we saw the whole path or if we saw the whole journey to get to that accomplishment thing, um, I, I wonder if we would, we would actually step into it because we might potentially see a lot of the good and the bad in that journey where I think if we take one step at a time, that allows us to really dig deep into the journey. If that makes any sense, I, I think we would, we would, we would, we would just get too overwhelmed. I think, I think if, if we, we saw everything, if we um, understood what it was going to take to get to that accomplishment, um, we might, one, we might not do it. Um, and then two, I think, um, I think it just, yeah, it just could be, it, it, it could almost put you in a place where, well, it, it, that's going to be too hard. I don't want to do it. And then there's certain things about that journey that you miss out on that create and change you as a person, exactly, um, yeah. that you miss, um, And so I think with this story about the butterfly and trusting and understanding, like, as long as we take the step, we're, we're going to eat each with each step more gets revealed. Um, and, and you can learn and really soak in those little steps rather than just thinking about the, the biggest step to get to the final destination, to get to the finish line, where there's a lot of little steps in there that you can really learn and digest from. But if you're so focused and and already see the finish line in a sense, you, you're gonna you're gonna put your blinders on and not really digest the journey in a sense. So I, yeah, yeah, I, I think you said something too is like you know to get to the accomplishment. Sometimes it's a failure at the end. Too. Well, that, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Um, and who wants to sign up for that? I mean, let's just well, all be real. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> like, think I think you think it's an accomplishment, but like you see that. Like, then I mean, you could yeah. see. If, if everything was revealed to you, you could see, it's oh my gosh, go I'm going to, I'm going to fail 10 times. Do I really want to do that? Yeah. I don't know. I, or maybe that thing doesn't work out. Like, yeah, I mean, there could be, you know, very well that, you know, a great example for us. Um, and this will probably be a story we share way more in depth at a different time, but like we opened a nonprofit in the States. Mm. Um, and it felt like the next right step for us. Like it was something that had been revealed and we were like, yes, that makes sense. There was a need. We were filling a need, all of that. Um, And and, and in the beginning, the little steps that we were taking, like, good things were happening and exactly yeah everything was pointing towards the path of that quote unquote accomplish this thing which wasn't really an end goal for us but Mm -hmm. um and and there was a response and things were going well and we had art shows and so i mean again we'll go into the whole story of another time but um sadly because of just some government things and getting our not not getting our nonprofit status in time and stuff like we couldn't afford to keep it up yeah um and we had to close it and like looking back had we seen that whole path and realized like we're going to put in all this work we're going to put in a lot of money um now i have no doubt that that we made an impact with those high school students with that time but had we seen like ultimately this is not going to come to fruition like you're thinking and it's going to end yeah i think both of us would have been like uh that's that's not the right thing to do yeah that doesn't seem right yeah Um, And so thankfully we were just given each step because that all that, that we learned in that time, like ultimately helped us end up in London. Like, I mean, Mm -hmm. so many of those different things and the different, and and we take into our business and personal life and, Mm -hmm. and, you know, relationships with people and stuff that again, if we, cause it was painful to close that, like, that was really hard. I, well, I mean, it was so hard to have that come to an end and realize like, oh, that did not go how we thought it was going to, um, or it didn't end how we thought it yeah, was that, going yes, to. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the things went better than we thought, but then mm-hmm. it still didn't ultimately in the end continue. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, we would have seen, I know I, my reaction would have been, nope. No way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like if there's tears at the end, like because it's hurtful and hard, like, I mean, most of us would not really pick that path. Well, in, in closing the doors, would that have looked like a, you know, a success or failure? Like there was no way we probably would have stepped into that. Yeah, exactly. And so it's just, 
it's that it's that each next step and it's so hard you struggle with this a lot because pat is a very like long-term thinker yeah. where i'm yeah. more well i'm very you know as an enneagram three and stuff i'm obviously very like achievement driven and like let's go 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 and stuff like mm-hmm. that i also and i don't know if this isn't a three or not but i also am very much like but we've got to do today and tomorrow like that's all we can do right now because if we want to get to it's probably because i realize i have to break it in chunks to achieve the thing <laughs> mm-hmm. but if we want to get to that that's the case but when we're going through any kind of decision and stuff pat's thinking like 20 years from now is this still the exact like flat i want to live in when we're really just making a decision for the next year yeah Pat goes down that route. Yeah. Like, oh, but what I, I want to start thinking about what's... Is this okay, where we want to retire? If we do this, then we do this, then we do this. This is going to affect this and da, 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 da. And so, yeah. And I'm always like, slow down. Like, yeah. we have no clue where all those things are going because so much can change and so much on the path mm-hmm. and what's revealed and stuff like that and just trusting in that can change in that time. So... Yeah. Yeah. So we share that butterfly story as just... It is, again, one of those things that has just always stuck with me um of just that again like we each have that unique path like we've talked about before Mm -hmm. um but then on that we don't get to know the whole thing like we don't get to know the whole thing we can sure we can have a picture of what it may be like we can have dreams in it vision like all that stuff that's amazing but we have no clue what's going to come the turns and twists and all that stuff that's going to come as we go along that journey. Um, yeah. And what a shame it is to not have those failures and the hard bits and stuff like that. They are not fun in the middle of it. Again, like yeah. you wouldn't sign up yeah. for that really, mm-hmm. but it is part of getting to that path that may ultimately, like there may, at the end of the path, there may be, you know, a new one. That's like this new thing that you hadn't even thought of before. Yeah. Um, that is a new thing you get to step into. Yeah, I think, I think you know, for me personally, I'm always in a place where I'm, I have an idea or I have this project that I want to do and I have it in my head and then I want it to be done. Like I want it to be created. And because of that, a lot of times I don't finish things. (laughs) Um, And so, so for me, you know, something that I'm really pushing into and trying to really figure out is to enjoy the process of the journey with it. it sounds so cheesy it's it so so cheesy, cheesy but it's true um and you know be present in those moments be present in present in in the little steps right and and be present in that you know the butterfly only going two feet be present in those two feet um and and then that that will take you to the next two feet um and so there's just so much that you can digest and understand and um and, and, and really, in some ways, transform yourself in those two feet. Um, but if you're so focused on the finish line, y- you're going to totally miss. You're not going to grow. You're not going to I mean, just, yeah, embrace the journey. I wrote that this morning. That's so weird oh, you did? that we're talking about this. But like I wrote <laughs> down embrace the journey this morning. Hmm. Um, but I and again, that sounds so cheesy to me. But anyways, I think, you know, just really trying to to think about that because right now you know we've got multiple decisions on our plate and i'm thinking already a couple years ahead in my head but i just need to understand and embrace the journey that we have coming up in the next couple weeks i just need to focus on those and be present in those because there's a lot of good there's a lot of hard there's a lot of challenge and all of it but if i don't if i'm not present in those things i'm not going to grow i'm not going to unearth even more about who i am and so yeah, just follow that. Take two feet with the butterfly. Take two feet with a butterfly. I think that's a good way to end it, don't you? Oh, well. <laughs> take the next, have that butterfly be in front of you and just trust the next step and take it. Don't hold back because you're fearful of what it could possibly be. Mm. Um, and I think that means both with success and failure. A lot of times, sometimes some of my things are like, what if it does succeed? What does that mean? Yeah. You know, because that can be overwhelming too. So it's not always about fe- fearing failure. It can also be about fearing like, what if it actually is successful? Like, what if I do get my dream and my thing like that? Like uh, that mm. often can hold us back too. Yeah. Um, so trust that next step, follow that path and don't like, yeah, don't, 
Don't waver just, or jump off the path because it starts to get difficult because you have no clue what is on that other side when you take that next step when you're in the difficult bit. So we definitely. hope it's encouragement. Um, sorry if it was overly cheesy. Hopefully not. Cheese. It's always good <laughs> but cheese. But as Pat yeah. said, embrace the journey. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yes. But hopefully going on that journey does. You will learn so much in it as you take each step. Thanks for joining us on today's episode of the Laurent Collective Podcast. If you enjoyed today's podcast, be sure to subscribe and leave a review, which helps others find our podcast. Continue the conversation with us over on Instagram at Laurent Collective. We look forward to going deeper than just surface talk with you again next week.